Welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade. Who would win in a fight between God of War and Wizard of War? That's a big question. That won't be answered in this review. This is God of War, Ghost of Sparta for the Sony PSP. Whoever controlled the marked war controlled the fate of Olympus. <laughs> Okay, I'll super simplify the plot for you. Kratos' brother is kidnapped by the gods and sent to death's domain, which, as you might imagine, upsets the already cranky god of war, who goes in search of his brother and kills lots of things along the way. If you can say one thing about the God of War series, it's consistent. Ghost of Sparta is pretty much more of the same. This is the second God of War installment on the PSP, a 2010 release on a now obsolete game console, but fans of the series will be pleased to know the game looks and plays great. It also sounds really good and has some new combat refinements and cool new weapons and magic. Consistency is the name of the game here, and like the other God of War installments, as you travel from point A to point B, mangling every creature in your way, you'll see some fabulous environments and crush a lot of enemies using quick time events. As we all know, Kratos is not just a fighter, he's also a lover, so don't forget to stop off at the local Shag and Go for some rest and relaxation before the rest of your blood-soaked journey. One fun weapon here is the Blades of Athena, which you can ignite to smash through the armor of armor-clad enemies and light some of them on fire. That's the red bar on the top left, and you activate that by holding the right trigger button on the PSP. The magic spells in this game are a lot of fun, and the fact is this is such a predictable God of War game. Oh look, it's a balancing scene. You know what else? I'll bet there's parts where you climb walls. There are. There's a few puzzles here and there, some quick time events, and don't forget to smash all the vases. God of War is like the ACDC of this kind of video game. It's all exactly the same, but it still rocks every time. Could you even imagine the outrage? from God of War fans if they tried to mess with this formula, like the next game plays more like Super Mario Brothers. And instead of killing enemies, Kratos tries to make friends with them. The magic spells are all inspired by Harry Potter. He stuns enemies by tickling them until they giggle uncontrollably and health is regained by eating pink cupcakes. I challenge you, Hello Kitty, to a duel of friendship. Not to worry, I don't think that's likely to happen. Although, if Kratos found food laying beneath trash cans that regenerated his health, that would be extra cool. God of War Ghost of Sparta can also be found on the PS3 God of War Origins collection. Or you can just find it on your PSP. It's not obsolete, as long as you're still enjoying it. His arm ever gets tired from stabbing all of these things in the face? Like, he's gotta be in great shape. Must be all the shag and go visits. I do have one complaint. After all of the God of War games 
and success, Kratos doesn't seem to have gained a sense of humor, and I think the designers should change that for the next release by giving him a different voice. Instead of sounding like Kratos, the god of war, he should talk like this. I'm going to stab you in the eyeballs. That would be fabulous beyond words. Kratos is god of war in Ghost of Happyville. I like to rip the wings off things. <laughs>